Electron dot diagrams. Electron dot diagrams are a simplistic way of showing the reactive electrons of an atom. The reactive electrons of an atom are found in the valence shell. They are called the valence electrons. So these are the, the electrons found on the outermost shell. And these are the ones that are very important when considering chemical bonding. Moving on, let's look at the steps involved with drawing electron dot diagrams. So first step, we're going to write out the chemical symbol. So the example we're going to use, we're using chlorine. So chlorine, the chemical symbol is Cl. Next step, find the number of valence electrons. And if you look at the periodic table, it is part of the halogens and all the halogens are part of group 7 or group 17 and the key number there is the 7 that we're looking at in terms of the valence electrons. So we have 7 valence electrons and how are we going to try to draw them? Well we're going to use the following configuration. One configuration that I really like to use is the cross method. I put a cross right through the symbol and starting from the top or you can start from any point from the cross, start to draw in one electron at a time at each end of the cross. So we draw our first one at one end, the next one, the next one, and the next one. So we draw one at each corner of the cross. Once we've drawn one at each corner of the cross, then we can start to pair up the next number of electrons. So we have four of them, we need three more electrons to draw in. So then we're gonna start to pair them up. So we start to pair one up, pair another up, pair another up. Please never pair, never draw three of them at once in one, one of the corners. So no more than two at any one corner of the cross. And then once that's done, remove your cross and there you have your electron dot diagram. Another name for an electron dot diagram is what we call a Lewis dot diagram. So let's recap now. Um, in terms of these elements and when trying to make uh, these atoms stable. Metals now will lose electrons and become positively charged. They're called cations. So what happens is when we're drawing electron dot diagrams, we're only going to draw the valence electrons. So if we're going to show the positively charged version, then we're going to want to remove the electrons. Now, nonmetals will gain electrons and become negatively charged. These are called anions. So when we're drawing the uh, additional electrons, again remember our valence electrons are the, one, are the ones that we look at and we either add to the valence electrons or we take away those valence electrons to try to arrange the atom in a stable form. Now one thing to keep in mind that whenever we do have um, anions or negatively charged nonmetals uh, there is also a name change when naming them. And the name change, okay, what we do is we add IDE to the end of the atom. Okay, so an example, oxygen atom gains two electrons to become an oxide ion. So it's no longer called oxygen, it is called oxide. We uh, take back the example that we just worked on with chlorine and if we were to make this chlorine a um, an ion chlorine is going to need to add one more valence electron by adding the extra electron remember electrons carry a negative charge because we have a surplus of an extra electron an extra negative chlorine has a negative one charge now it's no longer going to be called chlorine it's now called 